What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back here for another video. Today I'm going to do an initial overview of this scope that was sent out to me. Uh, this is a scope made by the company Discovery Opt. Uh, they reached out to me, got a pretty nice website with quite a few different options on there, a lot of different scopes, some new rings that they came out with, and uh, they sent this new 5 to 30 to me. This is a 5 to 30 by 56, and uh, we'll say a full disclosure, I already mentioned it, this was sent to me, but I have received scopes in the past, and uh, I do a thorough review of those, kind of look over them, and decide if it's something that I want to put on the channel or not. Uh, a lot of those scopes I, I basically turned down, said no. Uh, this one I did a thorough review, looked at the scope, um, kind of went through, you know, click adjustments, looked it over pretty well, checked out the rings they sent me, and I've decided to start a review on this. Now, I might get it outside. I'm going to put it on the 308 here. I might get it outside, and this thing might blow up, and I might stop the review, and you guys will never see this. But we'll see how it goes. The initial review, just in my hand, looking through it out the window, the clicks, illumination, quality of construction. Um, this is definitely one that I want to proceed with and see how it does. First, hopefully you can hear me okay. A little breezy out here. Uh, seems like it's always breezy here in the spring, getting into the summer in Indiana. Anyway, I actually did a full review on this out at Beaver Lake. Shot it out to 547 yards. Did a full review, got back home, and it was uh, windier that day than it is today, and the audio just wasn't good. So I'll show you a few clips of that. You can hear it at least hitting still out at 547. But um, like I've always said in the past, you know, I'm not going to promote anything here on the channel that uh, was given to me if I don't believe in it after I've tested it and used it for a while. Well, here we are today. Use this, probably had this thing for two, two and a half months now. Uh, switched jobs, kind of got busy with uh, daughter being in sports and the new, the new gig. But um, here I am today. Giving you guys a quick rundown on this, my thoughts on it, and uh, we're just going to shoot it at 100 yards here and talk about it today. But overall, uh, pretty awesome little scope. Um, I'd say little, but it's a 5 to 30 power. But uh, for its price point, uh, you can check these out on Amazon. I'll make sure and link it up. But uh, man, they're just pretty awesome. Tracks super well. Glass is clear. Nice center dot on it. Um, we're going to punch some steel here. And we'll chat about it, and I'm going to give you a quick overview, and then i got a more detailed overview on all the specs and stuff uh, at the end of the video. Like I said, overall, been really happy with this thing. Got it mounted up on the grindle. Wasn't shooting the grindle a whole lot, because this is what the thermal used to be on. But now that I'm running 243 for coyotes, uh, this had a lower magnification scope on it, daytime optic, and uh, they reached out. Asked if I would do a review on it, and I told them I would if I put it through its paces and I was happy with it. And here I am, it's still mounted and doing a review on it. So we're just going to shoot a few here today at 100 yards. I'm going to throw up the clips, shooting this at 547 yards, like I say. Tracked really well, got my uh, chrono. Chrono out, got my dope, and um, I think I had a first round impact from 0 at 100 to dialing it in at 547. Um, track really well like I mentioned audible clicks and overall just been happy with it we'll shoot a few down here at this still plate and see how she does parallax knobs really big got a nice grip on it easy to manipulate Good clear glass, nice center reticle, or center dot in the reticle. Just ringing that steel. Yeah, 
it's a good piece of glass for its price point. It fluctuates a little bit on Amazon. I think this model here's, don't hold me to it. Check out the link, um, 300 to 350 range, some, something like that. They do have a PRS model. I would like to get my hands on that at some point just to kind of compare it and see what that's all about. Um, as you guys know, I've been pretty active here in PRS recently, having a lot of fun with that. And uh, I'd like to see what that scope does. We'll skip to that footage that I was mentioning about uh, Beaver Lake. It was out at 547 yards and uh, super windy that day, but scope tracked well and was easy to get first round impact. Here's that footage. All right, I'm sure this property looks familiar to some of you. We are at Beaver Lake today shooting. Killed a lot of beaver out of this lake. Awesome property. Um, Hopefully this microphone picks up, but man, it is nasty windy out here. 547 yards, there's the plate, and we'll see what happens. Let freedom ring. Impact. Impact. That was solid. Let freedom ring. Impact. Impact. That was solid. Like I mentioned, five to 30 by 56. This is a first focal plane uh, mill scope. So they reached out to me, sent me the scope, and then they also sent me their rings as well. This is a 34 millimeter tube, so they sent me the 34 millimeter rings. Pretty nice, they did include two extra uh, ring screws in case you happen to lose one or uh, mess up a thread or something like that. But the rings are pretty high quality construction. They, they feel really well machined, um, no complaints there. I do like rings that have um, the, the male studs that fit into the female receiver to kind of match it up perfectly and then you know you go ahead and torque those down pretty nice addition here tells you 30 inch pounds on the base screws tells you it's a 34 millimeter set of rings and then up top it tells you 20 inch pounds of course on the the ring screws and then it also tells you what pattern one two three and then four but high quality machining no complaints there look like pretty pretty good piece of equipment so the rings are good to go the scope is a first focal plane 34 millimeter tube Let's see if you guys can hear the clicks here I won't know how well that's picking up until I edit this video, but very audible, seem to match up really well with the hash marks like that. It does have zero stop feature. I haven't set any of that up yet, of course, because it's not on the rifle yet. Uh, it comes with this, it's kind of a different uh, rear scope cap. Get that off and then you can stick that here on the side of your windage turret and then it kind of gives you a piece of rubber to hold onto. That way you don't lose that. That's pretty nice. And it's, uh, I wish that it had a throw lever with it. There is a screw here, so I might be able to get one separately from them. But five to 30. And once it's mounted on the, on the rifle, it's probably not gonna be that big of a deal. It, it'll probably turn pretty well, but you know, just holding it in hand and I'm sure it'll loosen up just a tad bit over time.
does come with an extended sunshade. Don't think I'm going to need it. It's already a pretty long scope. It is 15 inches in length. Got 33 mils of elevation adjustment. 17 mils of windage adjustment. The field of view is 25 feet at 100 yards. And like I mentioned, it is uh, illuminated, shockproof, waterproof, fogproof, and it is nitro nitrogen filled. The data card here says it weighs 38.1 ounces. But it looks like a good unit. Um, I'll make sure and link this down below so you guys can check it out. Pretty competitive price point. Yeah, like I said, this is, you know, can't, can't compare it to... Uh, Leopold or you know Vortex Razor or something like that because you're just in complete different price categories but for what this is kind of the budget minded person getting into it or just need uh, you know maybe a bigger optic on your 22 or anything like that um, it's a heck of a heck of a optic for for what it cost just uh, I would buy with confidence and like I've always mentioned here I won't promote anything on the channel that you know, I, I'm not going to use myself. So that's my thoughts on it. So like I say, just check it out in the link down below. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. Happy hunting. Be safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.